What's up, fellas? Today we are checking out the Flight Pack 2 backpack from a brand called Air. I've been using this backpack uh, going to and from the studio for over a year now, and there is a ton of stuff to love about this bag, so we are gonna go over everything in today's review video. Okay, so let me give you a detailed overview about this bag. I'm gonna show you every nook and cranny. And if you are interested, you can scroll down uh, to the description where I'm gonna link to this bag and you can check out all the specs and the different colors, things like that uh, on the website itself. Okay, so first off, the overall material of the bag. This is a Cordura Ballistic Nylon. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's weatherproof. So I've you know been in the rain with this. Uh, it does not get soaked or um, like heavy or hold any moisture at all. So that's a definite bonus if you are commuting a lot. The zippers and the zipper tracks are actually weather sealed. So uh, no liquid can get through uh, any of these points right here. I believe this is weather sealed. I'm not too sure about these, I believe these are too, uh, and I will show you in detail what these zips look like. Anyway, I have never experienced any like leakage or anything that I have seen with other like cheaper, like Jansport type uh, everyday sort of backpacks. This is really built for like all weather situations. So like I mentioned, not only is this a backpack, but you can actually wear this three different ways. So let me show you. First off, yes, it is a backpack. It does have these straps, super comfortable straps, by the way, they're very wide, uh, so they don't dig into your shoulders. They are padded and adjustable right here. The nice things about these adjusters is that it does stay. Sometimes uh, I've tried backpacks where they like kind of slip and it's super annoying. This stays uh, right where you position it. And so yes, uh, you can wear it as a backpack. Second of all, you can use it as a briefcase, which is awesome because it has this side handle right here. And these straps actually unhook at the bottom right here. And then you can tuck this entire strap into this compartment right here that unzips and you can actually zip it up, close it, and then you have a really clean and sleek looking briefcase. Pretty sweet. The third way to wear this backpack is actually as a messenger bag. So Air does provide a messenger strap with a padded uh, shoulder, a shoulder pad right here. You can hook this strap up and then it becomes a messenger bag. So there's three different ways you can use this bag super versatile depending on what you're wearing. I think that's awesome. Another thing to mention here is that if you are traveling with this backpack and you have a roller bag like carry-on with you, you can actually uh, take this, if you're using it as a either a messenger style or as a briefcase, they have a nice handy like little sleeve area thing here. I don't know what that's called, but it's like a, a little thing where you can put on top of your suitcase right over the telescopic handles of your uh, roller bag. So it'll be really secure and you don't have to worry about it falling over or like losing it. It'll just stay right on top and it's it's super great when you're traveling. I've used this a few times uh, traveling as like a lighter secondary carry-on. It's perfect. Okay, so moving on to the main compartment of this backpack. And the cool thing about this is that the main compartment opens really wide for like the backpack purpose. But when you have these handles closed, it won't like automatically open up for you wide. So you'll never have to worry about, you know, stuff spilling out uh, involuntarily. So the main compartment has a gray sort of like nylon liner here. And there are a few compartments inside uh, this main pocket. So first of all, you have a laptop sleeve, which is padded. Uh, so you can keep a, I keep a 15 inch MacBook in here. You might be able to fit something bigger, like maybe a 16 inch, but the 15 inch fits perfectly. Below that, there is another secondary sleeve, not padded, but you can keep like a notebook in here. Uh, I keep like these pouches in here as well. I have leather pouches in my backpack for the really small items I don't wanna lose. Finally, on the inside of the main compartment, there are two little pockets in here with uh, Velcro closures. You can keep really small items in here. Um, I typically keep like my mouse in here. Uh, sometimes I have like dongles and things for my MacBook Pro that I need to keep if I don't put them in the pile, in this leather pouch that I carry around. Sometimes I just stick them into this uh, these small pockets that are already built into the main compartment of the backpack. So let me close this up. And the second portion of this backpack, it has like a secondary compartment, uh, which is also almost equally as large, but it's more compartmentalized and it has more pockets for the little things that you wanna bring with you. So if I open this up, it also opens up really wide as you can see here. And I have another leather pouch. I love these things because I always have like little things that I need to keep together. Uh, so as you can see in here, this is the secondary pocket opened up. I do keep like a bunch of pens in these like little pen holders here. 
Uh, there's another like mesh pocket here. There's a few pockets up along this uh, this top row. And then there is a hidden like, not hidden, but there's like a zip pocket right here that goes along the whole width of the, uh, of the secondary enclosure here. And I keep like cables in here, things like that. But you can put like a lot of stuff in here because it's actually relatively deep. I'd say a few inches uh, below here. So it's, it's, it's pretty tall. You can keep a lot of stuff in here. And then moving down, again, I have a notebook that I always bring with me. If you're moving down to the secondary compartment here, um, there are two other pockets that are a little bit bigger, uh, as you can see here. Maybe you can see, I don't know. You can also keep just more stuff in here. So that's what I love about this uh, secondary sort of area in this backpack. Um, it's separate from the main compartment, which is where you keep your laptop, maybe your Kindle, uh, your notebook in those those bigger items. Maybe some clothes if you're traveling or something, you wanna keep a spare set of clothes in here. You can do that in the main compartment. And then the secondary compartment will hold these smaller things and it has all these like segmented pockets, which I think is great. And then on top of that, there's still like a lot of actual room down here. I don't know if you can see this. Just like down here, you can actually stick a bunch of stuff in here. So it's not super tight against the backpack. You still have room to store even more things. So again, tons of compartmentalization, a lot of room to put the things that you need to put. And it's still a relatively slim profile as you can see. Okay, so let's move on to like the exterior of this bag. There are a few pockets out here that you may not be able to see, but I'll point them out to you. So one, there is a front exterior pocket here. This is kind of where I pointed out that it has like these waterproof zips. You open it up, it has a bunch of room in it. This is great for like quick access stuff or um, I keep my sunglasses in here sometimes or things I need to reach right away that are a little bit bigger. They fit perfectly into this pocket. And uh, again, this is pretty deep. So you can keep a lot of stuff in here and you don't have to worry about it getting wet or whatever because it's, it's, it's weatherproof. And this zip actually tucks in uh, to this, you know, this little area right here as you zip it all the way up. And then it kind of basically covers up any like potential holes that might be there from the zipper itself, from the zipper track. So that's pretty sweet. Secondarily, we have a side pocket here on the exterior. Um, I like to keep like an umbrella in here if it's raining. Uh, also, or like maybe a water bottle. Uh, this is cool because it's pretty tight to the bag, but you can unzip it and then it'll expand, which is really cool. So if you have like a bigger bottle, nothing too big, but you know, I mean, I think it's nice that it gives you like, it allows for a little bit more room as you can see. So yeah, like I said, I keep an umbrella in here, sometimes like a small water bottle. Um, and I just think it's a nice little feature that they keep on this bag. Just, and again, like quick access stuff. Uh, easy to take in and out as needed. There's also this zip back here, which keeps the backpack straps. As you can see, I tucked them in. I unhooked them, tucked them in, and I zipped them. I guess you could keep stuff back here too. Um, that wouldn't hurt because there's extra room, I should say, you know, next to these straps. I think with, there's so much <laughs> places to store things in this backpack that you don't necessarily need to use that area, but you might want to. Um, again, it's super clean backside. And those are the two main uh, exterior pockets. There is a really cool hidden pocket at the top here. Let me show you this. So in between the main compartment, which is this guy right here, in between that and in between uh, that and the secondary pocket. Wow, I can't find the zippers. Okay. So this is the secondary, secondary pocket right here. This is the main pocket, right? Right in between, there's actually this small stash pocket, which I think is awesome. Like, I actually really love this when I'm traveling too because I can keep uh, my passport in here. Uh, I keep like my wallet when I have to go through TSA, kind of takes stuff out of my pockets. Um, any like metal, like watches and stuff, I just stuff everything in here. And then once I go through the metal detectors uh, for the TSA, I can just put it back on. It's really easy access because everything is right in this small pocket. It's perfect. So right now, like when I'm traveling or commuting, I keep my keys in here, uh, like my headphones, like my little earbuds, things like that. I put that in this top pocket, super easy to access. Um, again, perfect for traveling, perfect for commuting. Um, and I think the folks at Air really thought about <laughs> everything that you might possibly need as a travel or a commuter with this backpack. And they were able to sort of keep it in this really nice, uh, small, easily accessible package. It's great. Okay, so final thoughts. Do I recommend this backpack? I would say yes, without a doubt. Absolutely, I do recommend this backpack. Like I mentioned, I've been using it for over a year, year and a half now. Uh, it's been great. A few friends had actually recommended it to me. And when I picked it up, I loved it, uh, just out of the box, it was great. But I wanted to give it some time to make sure I really understood the bag, how to use it, and what it actually did for me long term. And so now after a year and a half, I can say definitively that I do love this bag. I take it with me all the time. It's the first thing I grab uh, when I'm heading to the office. Uh, it's the first backpack I choose to use 
um, just because of how easy it is to use, how compact it is, how many compartments there are, and how easy it is just to wear. So if you are like me and you are commuting like that in a certain situation uh, where, you know, just back and forth uh, to the office, I think this works really great. Uh, you could take this on hikes, things like that, uh, but you know, for me, I just use it to go to the office and traveling. Um, if you are looking for something that is a little bit on the dressier side, this might not be for you because this is a little bit more uh, rugged, a little bit more on the casual side. But you know, honestly, if you do wear like suits and ties, I think you could pass this off if you did have this bag because if you look at how sleek it is and how minimalistic it is, and if you actually took these zippers and zipped them up to the top so they're not just dangling, you could use this as a briefcase and it doesn't look like you're holding a Jansport, you know, it looks like a solid briefcase. So, you know, it is an option if you are a suit and tie guy, if you are more of a casual to smart casual dresser, this is a great backpack. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the Air Flight Pack 2. I did link to this uh, bag in the description below as well. So go ahead and check that out. Just scroll down, uh, take a look at the links and maybe this works for you. If you wanna see more videos uh, about products like this that I've owned for a long time that you wanna know if I think they're good or not, let me know in the, in the comments below as well. And uh, that's it. I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.